I'm Maureen Del Blanc. I'm a speech language pathologist. The shrimp was small, so it must be the biggest thing we can be. My name's Lisa Vetch, and I'm an occupational therapist. We visit a classroom together because a lot of what we do does overlap. There's a lot of kids who might have speech and language delays as well as fine motor delays, and often we can work on those things together. So while Maureen was reading, we kind of took apart some of the actions and the activities and the creatures of the book and created a motor activity that the children could practice, which would further help with coordination, core strength and stability, and motor planning. I think we can feed off one another's skills and by creating a meaningful activity for the children, so an extension of the book would be to do the activities, which makes it easier for the child to remember and makes it more meaningful. I provided a demonstration of the animal we discussed, we took ideas from the children and then we were able to practice that activity all together and then provide further encouragement and reinforcement to those children that were having difficulties get into a movement or a position. We want to use frequent engaging movement throughout the day. So rather than having them sit at desks frequently, we want them on the carpet in different positions, challenging their bodies at different times throughout the day. I absolutely think that working with occupational therapists and pairing movement with speech and language is a helpful thing for kids. When we use our body as well as our speech and language, we're just using more parts of the brain and the more parts there are, the more connections there are for these kids.